Hello friends. First, we read the problem statement for temperature dependent viscosity tutorial. Here is the problem description. The problem considered in this tutorial is shown in the like figure one. As the symmetric condition is imposed as the center line, that is shown in this figure. Only half channel is modeled, and the wall of the channel is split into two parts. That is wall two, which is at temperature. 280 kelvin and wall 3 which was at temperature of 290 kelvin the temperature dependent viscosity of liquid metal will respond to this change in wall temperature then the the as shown in this figure inlet outlet is shown wall 2 is at 280 kelvin and wall 3 is at 290 kelvin and the molecular viscosity of liquid metal will be defined as a function of temperature Which is given follows. That is, if temperature is greater than first condition, if temperature is greater than 288, then the viscosity is 5.5 to 10 raised to minus 3 kg meter per second. That is uh, Pascal second. Or if temperature in between 286 or between 288, then the viscosity is 143.2135 minus point. 49725 into temperature and the last condition is if temperature less than 286 kelvin then the viscosity taken as 1 pascal second here t is temperature of the liquid metal and mu is here molecular or maybe dynamic viscosity in pascal second here are two important notes is We here we must try a C program because viscosity is not a constant; it depends on temperature, and that C program must be in C C program only, C language only. Sorry, and uh, energy equation in the fluid must be on. Here below as shown this this C this program must be. We must return this program in C, and we save this file as. A, Dot C extension. That is here I shown in this last year. Shown this dot C is kind of viscosity pipe with dot dot C extension. Now we start the fluid. Two D double precision. Click OK. First, we load the mesh. Now we check the mesh quality. By clicking, checking, and also report quality as shown in the mini minimum face area, maximum face area, and the orthogonal quality of that particular mesh. Now keep it at its pressure debased and steady analysis. Now go to model in that energy equation on. Click OK. Then go to materials. Here in the fluid, click Create on Edit button. Here in the name Liquid Metal, edit this. Write it as Liquid Metal. And change the properties. Density will be eight thousand. Specific six eighty joule per kg Kelvin. Thermal conductivity thirty. Keep clean this. Yes. Here. Close this. And the define user define function interrupted. Browse. Browse then viscosity file. Here.
which has dot c extension click on enter the viscosity by loading loaded here as shown here click close click material edit edit and in that viscosity select user defined click ok then close ok then go to cell zone condition keep a as it is then go to boundary condition wall to edit in the normal temperature click on temperature click 280 click ok then go to wall 3 edit thermal temperature click 290 kelvin ok then go to velocity inlet edit in that select components and that put in the x velocity 0.001 meter per second and temperature thermal 290 right 290 Kelvin. Click OK. And pressure outlet. Edit. Right temperature as 290 Kelvin. 290 Kelvin. Click OK. Then go to solution initialize. Click initialize. Next go to Calculation activities in the calculation number of iteration put here 200 and click on calculate. Now we will start calculating the results. Here solution is converged at around 180 iteration as shown here around 173 that is 170 180 around solution is converged and go to graphics and to and set up select properties uh, molecular viscosity and click on display here we got a molecular viscosity profile that is red is red line is maximum viscosity that is in this below column one uh, pascal second and blue is a low that is 5.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 pascal second if we want to see uh, uh, vector velocity then click on control vectors Select velocity, velocity magnitude, and display. We see the velocity vector by zooming out. We easily see the velocity vectors. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.